وما خلقت الجن والانس الا ليعبدون We know this verse, we've heard this verse, we understand this verse. It means I have not created mankind or jinn kind except that they worship me, except for them to worship me. When we hear this verse, many people think, what exactly does this mean? All it means is I want you to lead your life exactly as I told you to lead it. You need to fulfill the obligations and stay away from the prohibitions. My beloved brothers and sisters, some might find it absurd that a human being like us created with such a sophisticated brain with such beautiful posture with such organs that are unmatched and yet he or she only lives for a few years on earth and disappears but allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for a believer has responded to questions that may arise and have arisen as to why he created us where were we before he made us and where is it that we are going to go because it is only with that knowledge that you begin to truly enjoy and cherish the life on this earth with its problems with its hardships with its difficulties because you're a believer if you do not believe and you do not want to look into what Allah himself has said about where you were where you are and where you are going you will never be able to understand and you won't enjoy truly because for you it will be a rat race throughout your life you will be running behind things that do not have deeper pleasure than a few moments and this is why it's important for us to constantly lead our lives within the pleasure of Allah Allah Akbar الله أكبر سمى الله لمن حمده الله أكبر السلام عليكم my brothers and sisters I'm very glad on the region convert to Islam and I want to ask for your support to purchase prayer carpets for the first of its kind the region masjid and tower center in the whole country of Norway the cost is around fifty thousand dollars would you like to pitch in and share in the immense rewards for tens of thousands of sedjas that will insha Allah be performed on these carpets. Wouldn't it be great to meet Allah with all of these sedjas on your scale of good deeds? Of course, right? Listen to this hadith so you fully understand what reward you could be earning. The Prophet وسلم, said, make lots of sujood for you will not make a sedja to Allah except that Allah raises you a degree because of it and removes a sin from you because of it. One single sedja you make will not only erase your sin, but also raise you a level in Jannah. The distance between the levels in Jannah is like the distance between the heaven and the earth. And you will get this raise for every single sajjah that you make. Now imagine how many levels Allah will raise you in Jannah when your sadaqah facilitates for tens of thousands of sajjahs. Allahu Akbar! My dear brother or sister, Donate generously and secure your share of the carpets before the 50k is all raised. This opportunity will only be out there for a very short time. If you miss it, you miss it. So don't allow shaitan to trick you by delaying it. Click the link and make your donation now. Jazakallahu khairan.